Now, look at the rows from January and February, and the only difference between those is the month of those order dates. We've got partition one and partition two. You can see all the ones and all the twos. That stands for the January and the February partition. Let's take a detailed look at this. We know that order number was the primary index. Each order number was hashed and those rows sent to the proper AMP. And then that AMP gave each one of those rows a uniqueness value, which always forms the row ID. So you will now see that we have partition number one and the row ID and then the row itself. That is called the row key. Actually, the row key would be defined as the partition number and the row hash. And that's how Teradata is going to sort that data. I like to think of it more like this. You've got the partition and the row ID, and that's the real sort key here. So let's review. How would Teradata amps sort their data? Two ways. In a normal table, they will always sort by the row ID. In a partition table, they're going to sort by the row key. Partition first, and then the row ID within the partition. Teradata amps only sort their data two ways, row ID or row key. Take a look at two different examples right here. At the top, we've got our department table, and it's a normal table. Depno is its primary index. The rows are hashed, and then they're sorted by their row ID on that AMP. In our second example, our order table, we did the month of order date as the partitioning statement. So now, the rows are going to be sorted, all the January orders on each AMP first, February, and March. And that's the two ways Teradata Amp sort.